Welcome guys to Techonics. My name is Gaurav and today in this video we're gonna explore this awesome thermal camera. So let's get started. So here we have the box of this TG26 thermal camera and trust me this is the one of the best thermal camera out there in the market so you gonna love it. So here are some of the features it offers we are gonna discuss about further so let's just unbox it. As you can see I already unboxed it previously as I can't wait for to test it out so I am doing it again for this video. So let's just open it up. So here we have the camera in this awesome carrying case which is a good thing and then here we have some other stuff like the type C cable, some hooks and also we have this to hold the bag. So let's just keep this thing aside. So here we have this TG267 thermal camera. If we talk about the body, so it's come with a very rugged body and it's come with the IP54 water and dust resistance and it can also handle to up to a two meter drop easily as per the company claim but i think it can handle more and as you can see here we get a tripod mount as well we can use as you can see here so the camera has 160 by 120 ir pixel imager which means it has a total of 9200 pixels which is a great thing and then this camera can measure from minus 25 degrees celsius to up to 380 degrees celsius which is a great thing as well and if we talk about the display it has a 2.4 inch lcd display and on the battery side it can last up to 4 or 5 hours and it takes only 4 hours to fully charge on the upper side we get a type c connector for charging as well as data transfer and on the other side we have a type k connector to connect the external thermocoupler to measure the external temperatures as well which is a good thing press and hold the power button here as you can see it's power up by using this i can take a picture of that as well for example now, as you can see it save the image so it's working really great now let's just see the laser pointer for that you have to press this laser button as you can see it's pointing a laser if you want to go to the menu click the power button once and here we are in the menu section first we have option of the gallery and on the top we are getting the time date as well as battery percentage let's turn on the gallery here you can view your capture images as this has a 4 gb of onboard storage which means you can store images up to 50k or more and then on the bottom here we have image adjustment click on image now as you can see it's in a MSX mode which is the technology by this flare which use a external camera with the thermal camera to overlap the normal image over the thermal image to enhance the image clarity as you can see. Let me just hide this camera so you can better understand. Now as you can see I hide the camera module. Now it's showing me just a thermal image. Let me just remove my finger and uncover the camera and now you can see the details it can provide by fusing both the images together thermal and the normal one. It can give me so much detail. So this is the thing it, we, they are using this camera for and that's all this MSX technology all about. Let's just switch to the visual mode. So now you can see we are only getting the view from the normal camera. Let's just switch to another one as high resolution is the same and then we are normal to that. Uh, they didn't include the option to just turn on the thermal camera without this MSX technology which is uh, something disappointing as sometimes we just need to view the thermal thing only but for that we have to cover the camera manually else we are gonna get the full coverage and sometimes it's uh, disturbing as well as you can see both the images are overlaying to each other which is sometimes a headache if you are 
uh, collecting the data for your ML model as you can understand battles. So let's just go back to the MS settings. And then also we have a color options as well. If you don't like the red and blue combinations of the color differentiation for the hot and cold, you can check out the other as well. For example, here, let's come to something different. Now it's purple, it's kind of a purplish. And then here, another one. And then here a white spot. As you can see, the hot one is shown in the white and other thing is in the black. And also we have a black one as well. In this, the hot point will be shown as a black and other one as a white. Let's come to the normal. Let's hit the back button. So now we are in the normal. Apart from that, here is the option turn on the LED. Just click OK. And now, as you can see, the light is turned on. Let me just off. And then here we have the settings menu. Here we have some things like measurement things for it. And in the device settings, you will find the option to turn on the Bluetooth, laser, screen brightness, and auto power off. As you can see here is the option to turn on the Bluetooth on and off. As you know, this device port Bluetooth connectivity. So you can transfer the images via Bluetooth to your app. And you can also monitor the temperature real time in a real time to your application as well using the Bluetooth connectivity. Then we have a general settings here. You can set the temperature unit, unit whether you want to see it Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then date, time, language, system info as well. So yeah, that's all about its manual settings. We can explore. Now let's just see this device in action and we'll show you some of other features. So here I take out my shielding iron and I turn it on. And here, as you can see, I connect the thermocoupler using the type K connector with the thermocamera. So we can measure the real time temperature as well. As you can see here, we are getting a new value, which is the TC, which is the thermocoupler. As you can see, I place the thermocoupler on the shouldering iron and it's showing the temperature in the real time as well, which is around 3000 Celsius. As you can see here, I set it to 3000. So yeah, it's pretty accurate when it's come to the measuring using a thermocoupler as well. So this tool is very helpful when you are repairing electronics to find the shot on the board as well. For example, take this, this example as a motherboard. So if this IC is getting hot, we can directly see it in the camera and find out like we have to replace this IC. So in that case, this is very good. Let me just show you a real example. So here I have power supply, which is apparently short here and let's see so as you can see it's showing the heating area so that's how i can find out that this area is where the problem lies so i can test this area specifically rather than checking out the whole area manually so in these kind of cases this tool comes really really handy i would say in electronics pair or other work as you can see this is capable of storing all the images into the internal storage to access these photos, either we can share it using the Bluetooth into the official app or we can also use the USB Type-C for data transfer as this port support both charging as well as data transfer. Just plug in the cable and that's all. Now we can access it and here we go. Now as you can see we can directly access the internal storage from our PC and here we have all the photographs that we save while testing. So now here you can copy any of the photograph for further testing. As we discussed previously, this has a Bluetooth connectivity, which means we can connect to the mobile application and directly transfer the photographs and the data to the phone app. So here is the application, which is FLIR tools. It's available both for Android and the iOS. Just download the application and click on open. Now on the top left corner, Go to instruments and here it will start scanning your instrument. On this side, you have to put it into the menu mode. Just press the power button and scan it. Here, as you can see, it find our TG267. Just click on the thunder icon. And yeah, it's connect. Now you can use this to get the real time readings as we go to measurements. As you can see, it's giving us the reading directly to the mobile. Now we can also use the application to receive the images. For that, just you need to go to the gallery. In the gallery, click on the image that you want to send. Press OK and then press OK. And here you will find the option send. Press the OK button again. 
and here as you can see it's showing receiving images and here it's sending it will take some time at it's transferring the image over the Bluetooth so it will be slow and yeah that's how we get an image and it will be saved on the phone gallery so you can view after that as well so that's all about the application part I know the application UI is horrible company need to work on that so if you guys like this video if you have any question related to this do let me know in the comment section below do not forget to like this video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you want more awesome tech video then do not forget to subscribe to Garnix and I will see you in the next one so till then stay connected